Greetings, app enthusiasts. Justin Z here with a review of the Free Books app for the iPad. You can see more about this app at mahalo.com slash freebooksrv, and you can send requests to requests at mahalo.com. Please also rate, comment, and subscribe below. Free Books boasts that it has over 20,000 books to choose from, and it's true. There are thousands of books, and they are all classics. Let me say that again. They are all classics. With a few exceptions, all these books are classics from history. No recent books and no bestsellers unless it falls under the classics category. What classics, you ask? 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and Beowulf are all perfect examples. The app has two sections, the library and the browser. The library looks exactly like the iBooks app from Apple, with the difference being the wood is a redder shade of mahogany versus the lighter brown ash. The books themselves are fashioned to fit the screen, and the fonts can be changed in size. Interestingly, the only background change you can make is an inverted black with white lettering. This definitely felt easier on the eyes, but it takes away from the book reading experience. You can bookmark your favorite pages, but there are no chapter options. The browser section is divided into a series of interactive tabs that can be swiped through to access different sections. On the top are sections divided alphabetically. The sections feel a little disorganized since they are divided by author, bio, genre, and split up in different ways. I would like to see a few options on how the list is organized. Directly below and to the left, there are recommended books called Best Of. Directly below that is a description of the section you are in, and to the right is a list of books to choose from. When you choose a book, you have a few options. You can download it, email it to a friend, or look at some other choices related to the story. If you are interested in audiobooks, there's a $3 fee, but you will have access to over 2,000 audiobooks to listen to. The $3 will also get rid of ads. While going through the book, it crashed on me a couple of times, but, much to my surprise, a dialog box popped up asking to report the error for improvement. I'll forgive the crashes for that. The help button also doesn't work, but other than that, the app seems pretty solid. The visual presentation is attractive and easy to read, and you get a whole library of free books. All these books you would find at a local library anyways, so it's a great alternative for convenience and saving paper. Considering the free version comes with all 20,000 plus books, the download is well worth it if you enjoy reading. I give the free books app for the iPad a 4 out of 5.